Hey, 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 we're back. So, let's compete in some tournaments. Um, ooh, wow. I don't especially feel like competing in the half minute crazy house. That seems a bit too crazy. Um, let's see, what might I prefer to compete in? Or maybe I'll give this a try. How bad could it be, right? Here I am, starting in 196th place, with 31 minutes to go. I think we got this in the bag. I might have to cut the AC, just so you guys can hear me. Uh, oops. Okie dokie. was unexpected. Check me. Okay, one sec while I go cut the fan. There we go. And back to the turn that we go. Take a queen. How convenient that I get the queen just when I need it. How convenient. Sadly, I haven't found a way to automatically activate the music on these playing boards. Um, so, I have to remember to type in music each time the game starts. Free stuff. So much free stuff. GG. Alright, we've almost made it into the top 100. That's a thing. Um, so I'm not doing too badly just yet. Free stuff. Who can say no to all the free stuff? Just keep taking it all. Oh, this is dangerous, isn't it? Boop! All right. Yeah, I should... Uh, I keep telling my AC not to go on. It's all temperature activated. 
and yet he has a strong tendency to go on. Um, I don't want to completely disable it because then hours later I might be here and um, just completely baking in the heat. Uh, let's take that. Dang it. Whoops, that was a mouse slip. Yeah, I can't move the mouse fast enough to keep up with these dudes. I just need to play better moves. Alright, that's it. I'm turning off the AC period. Um, that's going to be a problem later, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Uh, whoops. That's what I get for playing ultra super fast crazy house. Uh, and I made it. There he goes. There he found it. Maybe I'll get better at least at this variant of Crazy House. My problem is I'm trying to play good moves instead of just playing what's going to win. Uh, what wins is playing tricky moves. I mean, you can't play objectively bad moves. That would just lose the game. But uh, tricky moves can be pretty useful. Like that knight g5 at the end there was not a good move, but it certainly tricked my opponent. Oops, now I gotta take this.
Wait, how's that not mate? Oh, King E4. There we go. Okay. I'm a bit surprised how well that king survives there. Uh, let's take this. There we go. So I do know how to checkmate with two queens. That's good. Free queen. Turns out you can't give away a queen and expect to win. Uh, this is not good. Got paired way up. Um, I mean, I guess the good news there is I can kind of predict that my opponent's not just going to move randomly like most of these move guys move. Uh, oh, that's me. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. But yeah, if I'd gone the other way, I'll lose my queen, so... I'll just stick with what I did play. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, I sacked a knight out of panic. Um, It's not because I think the sack is anything particularly clever, it's just I panicked. Uh, That was close. Um, so apparently I'm working my way up the ranks of uh, top 100. Maybe if people keep withdrawing I'll make it into the top 50. D5 is a legit opening, it's just kind of dangerous. But against a 1300, I'm not too afraid to employ it. Now the sack on F3 is kind of ridiculous. But it fits with a the theme of just doing things that are going to disrupt the opponent. Check. Check. Uh, 
Yeah, some people in this tournament are just way too fast and have consistent ping times, um, more consistent than mine, which does favor them slightly, but hopefully not too severely. Wait, I've got a pawn. Let's use the pawn. Check. There we go. Now we're getting back in shape. Maybe I'll make top 50. That'd be a minor achievement. Oops, that was a mouse slip. I'm just trying to play tricky moves here. Yeah, definitely building some initiative is helpful. Uh, it's something my opponent neglected or failed to do. Well, looks like I might make the top 50. He didn't have to take that. Oh, this is beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. I'm saving that one in my bookmark games. That was cool. Now, admittedly, it took me a while to see it, but man, that final position's a bit striking.
Oh, he timed out before he could checkmate me. Tough break. Okay. But yeah, that's what Half Minute Crazy House is about. It's about walking into mate in one so you can win on time. Also about not blundering into mate in one right in the opening. Case in point, don't blunder into mate in one. Wow, Krosky's playing. That's pretty cool. I've got to stop playing E4 if I'm not going to follow up on that. That's beautiful, and at the same time horrendous that I dropped the pawn so early in the opening. That must have unsettled my opponent, and um, well, the rest was history. Oh crap, we've got a real ch crazy house pro playing against us here. Hopefully I'm up to the task. We'll see. Probably not, but I mean one can hope. Okay. Crap, I miscounted. Yeah, now I'm getting mated all kinds of ways here. Um, mated is an exaggeration, but I'm dropping a rook and a knight and I don't have any initiative, and there's no weaknesses on my opponent's king. So that's the kind of thing you don't want to continue. You just say, you know what? It's been a fun game. We're going to try again next game. Also, I'm kind of curious what's the way to refute this d5 thing. sack, but it's totally inappropriate. So, I totally did not win that. Uh, I don't know, those are just birds. There's nothing I can do about them. To either make them happen or make them not happen. They're just birds. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm gonna get outbooked.
Damn it. Okay, I'm getting mated there. Whew. Some of these things are pretty brutal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume that was Sepiku. Uh Going berserk and then just resigning. Alright, so we get to play Math Ace. Wait, what's wrong here? What's going on? Uh, let's go back. Okay, we got a sack here. Oh, he's getting the material back anyway. <laughs> Interesting. I've never seen that combination before, but hopefully I will remember it and spring it on other players. Uh, we're going to trade down anyway. Trap. I was not winning that. Well played on my opponent's part. He definitely outclassed me there. Where's my queen? Yeah. Actually, that's mate in one, so. No sense waiting it out. Oh wow! You serious? I thought he would check me for sure. Maybe he didn't have a checking piece. Oh shit, that's not me. I was going to play it on D1 originally, and then chose D2 because the rook covered D1.
Yeah, I need to be able to move my mouse without slipping. I think King C7 was legal. Um, I just failed to release the mouse button. But I was down three seconds anyway. Well, there goes my rating. I lost 79 points this tournament because I can't move a mouse. Uh, and because I'm playing against strong opposition. But I'm mostly blaming the mouse thing. Damn it! Why has he got to cover my mates? Yeah, I can't move fast enough to keep up with these guys. Um, I will play some three minute crazy house. Okay, or two minute. Let's make this two. Two not. I can win this. Because it's kind of a shame that I lost 80 rating points playing in that event. But I just have a mouse that does not move like I want it to move. Um, and I'm playing bad moves. Okay, this is not a 30 second crazy house. I should not give up a pawn on move two. Um, because I actually have time to think and play logical moves. There we go. I am agitated that my opponent's moving so quickly, but um, mostly for their sake because uh, they should be playing better moves and not just rolling over or waiting for my clock to expire. Um, yeah, it was clever of him to uh, pick off my pawn in the opening, but he has not achieved any constructive goal, or he has not accomplished any constructive objective since um, winning my pawn. So I'm just slowly making inroads towards the king, uh, trapping his bishop, poking holes open in the king's side, all while I'm down two pawns. So, uh, I'm down four pawns, but let's face it, I've got some pretty strong compensation for it. Uh, I have to remember this is not Bug House. In Bug House, you can just ask your partner, give me the piece I want, and um, it's not so doable in Crazy House. I had mate in one, like four moves. You know, I don't doubt that I missed something in that half minute game. Um, Maybe even... No, I'd be surprised if I'd missed a mate in one this game. This game... I started off by blundering. And... Even though he hasn't really accomplished anything, he hasn't destroyed his position either. Um, I mean, yeah, if I had a rook, if I had a knight, this would be game over. But... Uh, since I don't have either of those, he should, at least for a move or two, be okay at least until I am able to pick off either Rook or the Knight. There's no way he's letting me get the Queen, but if I could get either Rook or the Knight, I'd be golden here. He could just concede that way, too. So let's seek a new opponent. Um, huh. Yeah, let's restrict this by rating just a touch.
Actually, um, lobby seeks tend not to find opponents. Yes, they're a crazy house tournament. There's five minute. Yeah, what the heck? We'll give five minute a try. This is gonna hurt though when the 2200s pummel me, but thankfully there's uh, only three of them thus far. Okay, there is a 2150. I might be able to take him. Uh, so we'll play Old Faithful here. Yeah, I don't believe in this sack. A lot of players do, but I don't. Uh, um... Not entirely sure how to follow up, but I am a considerable amount of material. So I think this should be unpleasant for white. Alright, I've got all the knights. Um, that can't be a bad thing. Okay, we'll just close in on the king. Take my knight. There's no way this king is safe out here. I did calculate that the knight and the bishop control this, so there, the king has no escape. Oh, wait. No, he's forced to do king f5. Um, and there's the mate. So I think he overpressed. Yeah, five minute is bearable. Ten is unbearable. I would prefer three, but there's not a three-minute tournament going on. Um, and so I'm playing in this tournament just so I can get opponents. Uh, but yeah, if there were a three-minute, I'd probably play that instead. Everybody believes in the sack on F7. Oh, that's not a sack. Hang on a minute. I've been tricked. I thought he was intending to sack a piece. 
Now if you just move the knight away and traded the queens... Oh, we also have to move the bishop away. Hmm. I have been tricked. Boy, does this feel dumb. Okay, so how do I handle this? Let's develop the bishop. I see that if we trade queens, he's got queen d8 mate. So I'm kind of in a lot of trouble. Unless I build up an initiative right now. Which I think I can do. I think it's okay for me to sack my queen here. Um, oh wait, I did not see that. He did not see it either. So we're fine. So I'm going to have to figure out a better way to counter queen h5. It's actually pretty lethal um, for... I don't know. It's more dangerous than I gave it credit for. Because I missed bishop g5, threatening queen d8. Um, so... Uh, let's see. I mean, now is probably the point where I need to start cowering and really hunkering down and making some kind of fortress-like thing. He should just take there. I'm trying to bully him around a bit. Well, yeah, such um, such brilliancies are only possible when both players already misplayed something. See, I calculated this, and this is my retort. Um, so he can't take the knight without losing the queen. If he takes the bishop, I get a second pawn on the second rank. Yes, he can follow with knight takes c2. But then I follow with knight takes c2 and then pawn takes rook. So I've tricked him. But yeah, initiative is pretty huge in Crazy House. So you don't want to spend time moving your pieces unnecessarily. Ah, they do call it a queen factory. Okay. What if you, like, make rooks out of it? Is that a, a rook factory? Uh, so, that's a fork and a skewer. Yeah, this c1 is a bit loose because it's only defended by the queen. Just like almost all the white's pieces are only defended by the queen here. So, as long as he keeps defending and never taking time to start attacking over here, um, this is going to be pretty one-sided. Hey. Uh... Alright, that's a promoted pawn, by the way, for those keeping count at home. So, uh, I guess even without the mating net, I probably would have still gone for this trade of a pawn for a queen. There we go.
so yeah my aim was to try to hit 2100 and then wrap this up only because I blew 80 points or so in the last tournament which was a half minute uh, hyperbolic crazy house which was pretty ridiculous all right, so I'm probably going to gain, like, one rating point from winning this. I might try that trap he tried on my last opponent. Oh, I was going to say Queen H5 would be a thing I could try. All right, we've gone into a Vienna Gambit. And we're not going, because he's not taking it. So, oh, I should have just done this. That would have been beautiful. Let's do it free pawn. He can't defend it. I mean, he could play this, and then I take it, and then I pull it, drop the bishop on f7, and then I take it again. So, yeah. I mean, it is true, there's, it was through the actions of one person in this channel, I had to create a rule section, whereas for the hundreds of other members in the channel, there was no problem. But one member in particular escalated things to such a tipping point that I had to make a rule section just so it would be fair to ban him. Just saying. <laughs> can't take on f7. It does not win. could do this, though. the heck, we'll take a pawn. Uh, if I do pawn takes, then he just blocks my pawn on d6, so I have to go this way. Um, I guess I have to go back after he drops something in, or after he puts a pawn on e6. This is going to be a really slow defending game. slow defensive game. So I'm guessing he's probably going to play knight h4. And maybe I castle. I'm not sure. This pawn does get in the way of his bishop, so um, it's not like he's gained some big advantage from putting the pawn there. Somehow I will need to mobilize all this Let's see. All right. So he's aiming to play. Um, wants to play his king back to g8. So just as he plans to do that, I'm going to pry this open. Apparently, this doesn't bother him. It's, I mean. I guess that's his judgment call there, but uh, if that were me, I'd be pretty bothered by having this gaping hole. <laughs> so I guess this is the plan. It's really creative.
Yeah, nine second delay is pretty good, I think, for a live broadcast. At least for a non-commercial live broadcast. So, attacking this, he apparently doesn't care, so I'll take it. Uh, next idea is a pawn drop there. Uh, I If I had a rook, man, this would be golden. I could just put the rook g7, use my knights to break this open, probably even mate with a knight. But yeah, if I play my pawn at g7, and if he moves his king into the corner, then I could just bring my queen and sack it for a pawn. Like this pawn. So... We'll see how he reacts to this one. Is he gonna corner his king? Because now if he does, I just take the bishop. And... yep, didn't even look. Didn't even look. So easy. I say that now, and then next round I'm going to get paired with somebody at least 200 points higher rated than myself, and get just completely mopped off the board. Well, that's assuming that their game finishes. Their game did not finish, so I get a different pairing. Um, D5? That's not D5. So we got a really patient game going here. I control more space, so I can just muscle him around. Unless he finds some way to sack and take reclaim some space. Alright, so he's trying to push forward, and I'm going to push back. He's forcibly retreating, or forced to retreat. Um, this might not work, but I'm playing it anyway. Actually, no, it's fine, because I've got this... If knight takes d5, knight takes, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, knight takes c7. So I'm covered there. If knight takes, it does knight takes, so... Still not a satisfactory outcome. I do like this bishop. I don't want to trade it. But I am using that to kind of force him to castle. Um, hmm. <laughs> Not sure where to go. If I can take all the knights, that would be good. Otherwise, um, well, I'm not sure what the alternative would have been anyhow. Yeah, knights are good short-range attackers. The horse is just doing his normal thing. And then he's going to complain when somebody says that the channel <laughs> tries to maintain some level of order and civility and he... whatever. It's his thing. Um, so... He's got quite an attack here. Inviting trouble. <laughs> this is definitely me inviting trouble. Well, I can't afford to trade queens, so I'm sacking a pawn. Uh, appears I'm doing worse than that. I am attacking a thing. 
That thing is definitely attacked. Uh, if you just give me a tempo, I could start using my pieces to counterattack. So let's see if we can get that tempo. Apparently, apparently there's no good way for me to strike the queen. Um, so this is a non-obvious move, because it invites pawn at g5, or even g5. My plan is to play knight at f5 to counter. It's complex enough that something good might come of it. Um... Check. And we have a resignation. Well, with that, I'm going to wager that I do not win the tournament. Um, but I am going to get a good pairing very soon. And it's going to hurt very much. Um, but we'll see. How many people are in this event? 35. So my odds of getting paired with one of the top five or so people is about four out of 35, because I'm one of the top five and I can't get paired with myself. So one of these rounds, I'm gonna get paired up. Alright, so this is that move that I should have found the other game, and I did find it this game. So that kind of makes up for missing it the other game. Um, guys, do you know what this one's called? Oh, the fried liver attack doesn't work in Crazy House, does it? Because uh, he just puts the knight there. Uh, well, we're inventing crazy house theory, guys. Hopefully the fried liver attack works, or I'm just in big trouble. Um, I think material will be even at the end of this exchange. Uh, if I take there, queen takes, pawn takes, no, I'm fine here. I think anything else, and um, I'm giving at least a pawn. But here, I think I'm okay. Oh, wow. I could take e6 and then queen f5, or I could queen f5 first and then take d5. He has no checks, so this looks pretty compelling. Uh, except for the fact that I'm hanging d5 at the end of the combination. Uh, that's a little minor detail that's kind of sort of relevant. Um, damn. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Okay, I planned that all along. Doesn't work. I can't even pretend to find good moves. Okay, let's exchange queens. Except this isn't a queen trade. This is, if your queen takes, I just win the queen. I feel so bad about this game. What am I doing? Uh, uh, I am not surprised that Horses is up to his old business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he loves to stir up trouble and be controversial. And somehow, inexplicably, he does get mod in some channels. I, I don't understand it, but he does keep the conversation going.
Okay, so what have we here? Let's try the cross key defense. <laughs> Apparently this is a thing that you can do. And it's super cool and fun. Um, I have to admit I've not really played it before and I don't know it that well. But hey, if Krosky can do it, can't I? Oh, shouldn't I have not played like Bishop G4 and then... Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. I have a feeling that I am going to get burned this game. Check. Oh, interesting. So if I give him the rook, I'm screwed. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> but what's his threat if I don't give him the rook? I want to keep this knight away from my king. Man, this is a tight spot. Oh, you guys think... Yeah, knight add g6 is a natural defensive move. However, my opponent doesn't have a rook, so I'm feeling pretty adventurous, we could say. If he had a rook or an easy way to gain a rook, I would be a lot more cautious here. Um... But as it stands, I'm picking off this pawn. Maybe. Um, I just want the damn pawn already. Can I get this pawn? I'll make mating threats on your king if I have to to get the pawn. Alright, I got pawn number one. The other problem with a knight of g6 is it's pretty exposed. Okay, why did he sack for that? If you wanted a pawn, just ask. I would have given you one. Maybe. <laughs> Who hates your bot? Your bot's okay. It's not too annoying just yet. And if it does become a problem, I'll find some way to deal with it. Oh yeah, he just walked into Maiden 1. I'm like, hey, is it my move? Because that looks like mate.
Okay, well. Um, so with that, I'm the tournament leader. Second place dude's withdrawn, and I've almost broken 2100. That's not bad. But yeah, if your bot did end up being a problem, I would probably... Um, I don't know. Nightbot's got ways for me to deal with these kinds of things. I think people don't use it because Leech Us already provides you all that information. You just like go to the player's page and type in the person's name and it gives you a doll. Now for some people typing might be a bit of endeavor and maybe they don't want to do it. I don't know. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to get paired with EGN Fan Club pretty soon. It's probably going to be... oh, there we are. Yeah, let's give Knight of Six another whirl. Um, I don't actually know how I'm supposed to play this opening, so I'm making this up, but I don't know, it looks reasonable. Like, this looks like a huge weak point. Um, are you going to sack on g7? If you're going to sack there, bring it. Now, I realize pawn at g5 is pretty unusual. Um, but it seemed reasonable here, because my bishop guards g5, so... It uh, kind of makes a wall that's difficult for my opponent to break. Um, or at least expensive for him to break. Meanwhile, I get to strike this. Oh, right. Uh, that's not good. Let's pretend that that was part of the plan. Just build this huge pawn wall in front of the king. Uh, G5 is still secure. Uh, and we'll make this pawn wall into a pawn avalanche. Wait, am I really getting mated there? Pawn takes knight, pawn takes check, check, mate. Yeah, I am getting mated if I just blow it off. So I have to take. Okay. What are you going to do with all these pawns? Do I not have, like, abundant threats on these squares? In fact, this is a fork. Let's play it. it hits, this hits the rook. It also threatens uh, pawn at f2, um, which is itself a fork. Um, so, yeah. I don't really care for the term cheater, though. Like, I do like the term uses computer assistance, so if you could... Well, I don't know if it uses computer assistance is accurate either. Um,
Okay, do I not have a mating net here somewhere? He's threatening pawn g7, pawn h6, pawn g7. Um, I've got abundant threats, and I'm not sure where to go. I was going to promote this to a knight, and that would have to require me to go in game to my preferences menu and change my preferences. Um, although that's actually probably bad because king takes bishop. So I guess I chose the better course of action after all. Um, Okay, we're hitting the rook again. How does this guy get a 2380 rating if I'm pushing him around? Have I gotten better or are ratings just less meaningful than they used to be? Uh, I can sack here, I think. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm right. If he does pawn takes bishop, I got um, knight drop at d4. Um, Alright, so I got five pawns. Thankfully, this isn't shogi, so I'm not going to double my pawns accidentally and lose the game therein. <laughs> if this were shogi, we would have something pretty serious to worry about. Uh, officially, Lee Chess doesn't use the term cheater, though. Officially, they use the term uses computer assistance. I know informally they use the term cheater. Um, but long term, what I'd really like to see is just enabling um, bots to play on Lee Chess as a feature, just a normal play feature. So. Just because something is a bot wouldn't make it a cheater, in that sense. I'd like to see that someday. Um, and Lee Chess's current vocabulary is okay with that. Uh, the source code uses a variety of terms. I've looked at it. It's not consistent. Oh, the API? Yeah, I don't know. Checkmate! Holy moly. How did I do that? Well, with that done, I'm in the lead by four points. I'm on a winning streak. And I just clocked a guy who was a pretty higher rated than I was. So, yeah. Um... I might have to beat this, however you say that. I don't have to play him. Yet. That's convenient. Man, this cross key defense thing is awesome. I'll review the API. But. 
I mean, yeah, engine's probably okay. Use this computer assistance is probably okay. I don't like using the term cheater because if eventually we ever get to a point where um, there isn't root, where people are less paranoid about cheating, um, then maybe it would be allowed for bots to play. And they'd be labeled as this is a computer or this is a bot or this is a person who likes to play using an engine and all these people would be allowed to play and have ratings and all that and it just wouldn't count for the leaderboard that's how some other sites have done it and i think that would be a cool thing to do and i think that would give ratings more meaning if there were a benchmark Okay, are we going to play a Halloween Gambit or something? I mean, what's with the Four Nights thing? This tends not to be... Well, I mean, this is popular among beginners, but not especially popular at higher levels. Okay, if I had a pawn... Oh, I got a pawn here. Look at that pawn. I got a pawn. I'm thinking this is why it's not popular. <laughs> I've not seen this before. It's pretty cool though. Um, uh, have I created a mess? Thing is, he just takes here. And off to the races we go. Um, thankfully, that did not happen. But yeah, you guys know how that's supposed to go in that opening? Uh, let me know. Because I'm pretty sure that I got away with something there that I should not have gotten away with. Hmm. Well, I don't think even bots would need a separate pool. I think you could have a human pool. Um, and just say bots can't play in the human pool. But I think you'd also have an open pool and just be completely wide open. Anybody can play at it, however they so choose. And people who um, people who do use engines, who use assistance, who occasionally let their big brother or little brother or whatever onto their account accidentally and accidentally play like 200 games with some sort of assistance. Um, those people could play in the open pool. And people who are interested in serious one-on-one -on -one competitive games could play in the human pool. I think that would be a cool thing. Well, I think... There, there doesn't even have to be a retributive aspect of it. You just say, oh, well, he uses assistance. We'll just put him in that pool and let him play against people who are doing the same thing. Um, you don't even have to worry about, like, punishing these guys because playing in that pool, I'm sure, would be punishment enough. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm taking here so I could take the bishop. Bishop threatening to take on f7 is kind of a nuisance. Well, I, honestly, I think a lot of the hype about people cheating and such, or whatever you want to call it, I think that's overblown. Yeah, there are some instances where people do it, and it tends to be really obvious when it happens, and sometimes um, the reaction to that can be slow. Um, but those people are dealt with. Um, but what's frustrating about it is that sometimes it is obvious and it just takes a while for the incident to be dealt with. And so the guy will get away with playing maybe five or ten games with assistance. And, I mean, often the player will get caught before then, but sometimes they don't. And 
All right. I'm actually going to take the rook, which is both threatening my king, um, and it's hanging, and I get to follow up with knight takes f4. So I don't need a queen. I just need a rook and a pawn and a knight. All right, so apparently I've made up all the points I lost in the last event. And um, likely there's one round to go, and I've got a pretty clear lead. So I can't object to this too strongly. Our good buddy, all names taken. Whoa, we got a Sicilian here, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm playing a bit adventurously with this D4 stuff. But my big idea is to be sneaky. You don't even have to be sneaky anymore. Bam! Oh yeah, look at that fork. <laughs> I've played this in Bug House too. It's really strong. Check. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Um, no, it's not featured because I'm just playing a quiet sort of stream. I could feature it if I wanted to, um, but I wasn't intending to go on for a full hour like this. Well, with that, let's smell the roses, see who else is playing. Um, we got five minutes left in the event. It seems that Verunia... Oh, he is playing a game. So, if he goes Berserk twice and wins both games, he could catch up and tie me. Or if he plays three games, uh, he could catch up. Um, but yeah, I think this has been a successful tournament for me. Yeah, it's just for the loyal followers. I mean, it does get pretty noisy in here when I just open it up to any old buddy. And so, sometimes I will do this sort of thing where I've got a more focused audience. People who know what chess is, know how the pieces move, might even know how the variants work, maybe. Um, ooh, that was powerful, man. Way to go, Kyle. It's got four, well, you know, three wins in a row out of four games. That's pretty strong. Um, well, it looks like Varuni is almost caught up. Uh, I did beat him last game, but he could beat me. Um, he's waiting for a pairing. I'm waiting for a pairing. Oh, he got paired with all names taken. Which probably means I'm going to get paired with whoever shows up in uh, the lobby next. So the question on everybody's mind is, can he... You know, in fact, let's just spectate this one. This is going to be a good game. Also appreciate that I've got a special um, user style turned on uh, that just automatically activates music anytime I view a game. I still need to make a version of the script that activates uh, this music anytime I play a game. Because it's just so dramatic. It's beautiful. Um, so... I'm supposing bishop f4 probably happens next? Okay, I didn't think bishop e3 would happen. Because I thought black might take the bishop on e3. Um, 
And a7 is almost loose, um, but the knight on c6 defends it. Okay, so we're going to try to trade some stuff to fuel an attack. I find it amusing that the 1700 went berserk and the 2200 did not return the favor. That's got to be bad karma, for sure. I jest, but I think I'm fine. Even if I do lose the lead, we played some good games, and I got my rating points back, so mission accomplished. Plus, this is such a good game to watch. So, Black's Queen is kind of trapped there. Um... Yeah, Black completely missed it. I think. Yeah, Queen's still... Oh, wow! I'm sorry, I missed that the whole time. That was there... Even with the Queen on C4. Um... Wow, and... How did I miss that? I mean, I was prejudiced in the sense that I thought, um, Black is in time pressure, surely he's gonna foul something up. Yeah, that stops mate on h2, courtesy of the bishop on b8. Um, so now you play something like pawn h3, or I'm not sure what else. There really isn't much space to drop pieces around the white king. Uh, and much of the space that's there is easily defended, so breaking through is kind of a mess. Let's attempt to break through, but maybe f4 slows it. Okay, it was h2 made a threat. Take h2 anyway. Take h2. I mean, it's the best you got. Ooh. I don't like that. You needed the queen in hand. Uh, the queen in hand is the only thing that helps force a mate, or mating that. Knight takes, knight g4. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, black's in time trouble, and so he's blundering pieces away trying to attack. White carelessly dropped the knight on c3, and suddenly uh, some more attacking chances. Defend g7. That's not a defensive move. And with that, that ends the tournament. Let's see the results. Excellent. Another good result. A 100% win rate. 10 games. Although I think one of them, my opponent didn't move at all. Uh, 2330 performance ratings, that's pretty good. I uh, definitely had a lucky game in there. Um, let me just look through my recent games, because they're... I had some fun tricks. Oh uh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Bug house cheapo on C7. Um, there's white, just not pursuing anything in particular. There's all names taken, just not moving. There's EGN Fan Club, who I, uh, well, who frankly did not manage to form some kind of attack. So this is the game I was curious about, I think. The one, no, I'm sorry, that's not the one. I am still curious how this Krosky defense is supposed to work. I've read a little bit about it, but I don't know, like, where Black's pieces are supposed to go. So I just made up bishop f5. Um, it's probably okay. Maybe I did read that. Anyhow. Um, had our game against Verunia. Oh, this was the lucky break. The one where he just completely forgot that I'm threatening mate in one. 
I played this pawn on g3 so I could play bishop to h2 next and maybe be able to stir something up. This uh, move to e6 covers a potential knight g4, but forgot about the check in one threat there. Um, where was our lucky or interesting opening thing? I think it was this game, though. Is this the one I got all confused? Yeah. Let's view the analysis board. And then, um, can I import this into a study? Yeah, let's study this game. Welcome to Leech Us Study. Other players can see your moves in real time. Spectators can view the study. Contributors can make moves and update the study. By clicking the plus button, you can uh, decide who can contribute. The study can have more than one chapter. Uh, you can create new chapters by clicking plus to create chapters. You can comment on a position. Uh, you can even annotate it. And you can sync or desync. Oh, and there's a help button. That's cool. So, in my opinion, this is the interesting move. Let's annotate this as... Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just tried to scroll the page. Um, we'll mark this as interesting move. This is really the highlight of the game. Um, do I have any way to highlight it or whatever? Anyway, this is... Uh, interesting opening idea and I'm pretty sure that bishop takes d4 is not the right response but I'm not sure what else to try uh, another idea might be bishop takes h6 which again looks interesting so I've created this study it's now officially on Lee Chess um, I'm sure People will link to it, try to find a way to contribute to it. Uh, okay, that's cool. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, it's been fun. I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one.